All right, yo. So I saw a challenge somewhere uh, where he was saying, uh, what's the highest you can get uh, for fans here? And I know I had been trying really hard to get to 3 million uh, before the update that added the fourth. Um, and you can definitely get to 3 million. But I'm going to try to get my highest possible here. Um, so these are the settings. Default. And we're going to go ahead and get our draft on. So the key is to get only people who are good talkers. Right? So you're not going to pick Brock Lesnar. You're going to pick Becky Lynch. Normally you can uh, take Becky Lynch, you take Charlotte Flair, but normally you can, about 50% of the time, you can get John Cena. Uh, they took Damian Priest, which is sad. Okay, so we're going to go with Edge and Big E next, I think. Actually, that's live. MVP is here. We want to take MVP. And our truth. We're going to come back for some of these. Um, so Bobby Lashley, Jay and Jimmy Uso are good, uh, but you have to, so they got Oma, so we're not going to take Jay and Jimmy Uso. There was somebody I wanted. Oh, I think they took, yeah, they took Edge. And so sometimes there'll be, we'll take Morrison. So sometimes there will be a, uh, Not Morrison. Um, Dolph Ziggler or The Miz are always good to have. Walter's a three. So now we got to start filling out the rest of the roster. Uh, Nia Jax is solid. And you also got to watch out for your money. Uh, Nia Jax and who else was I thinking of? Shayna Baszler and Rhea Ripley are really good. Carmella is almost always good. So now we're going to go for the steals that people uh, frequently leave out. So Tony Storm is good to have, but she'll be available later. Occasionally you can steal. Um, oh, they didn't take Omos. I thought they took Omos. So they took Oma, so you take Jimmy and Jay Uso, and then maybe another giant. Did they take Braun Strowman, maybe? There's another giant. Um, well, yeah, he's got three. Keith Lee has four, but you have to turn him. Um, I think that's probably better. All right, and that's our roster. We're a little light on the women right now. We normally like to get uh, Bailey K and um, the other one that goes with Bailey K. I, f I can't remember her name right now. All right, and we're in. We got to pick our champions. It's going to be Big E and Charlotte Flair. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to find some what we would call cannon fodder. So Jody Garcia is going to be good for right now. She's got a two in speaking, and she can get beat up on. We honestly could use another... 
male heel. Yep, Red Flame. Hey, how you doing, buddy? You're here to get beat up on by uh, Jay Uzo. Okay, so this is our first week. Obviously, you can't do anything. We fulfilled that. And uh, those are our power cards. Let's get into it. Hopefully this starts a rivalry. All right. Jimmy and... I wish they split them up as Jimmy and Jay instead of Uso and Uso. Becky Lynch and Carmella. Good to go. Keith Lee switches over. Jay Uso fighting the Red Flame. If this doesn't start a rivalry, I'm fine. Yep. And so now we have uh, Jay to go ahead and... Max up with Keith Lee. We got an Extreme Rules, Big E versus John Morrison. There was interference by MVP, but it didn't start a rivalry. But that's fine. And here's how we match up. We're doing okay. 80,000. We're in the lead. Got a health spa. We don't really care about the lead, though. All right, what messages do we have? Big E wants to fight MVP. Cool. Okay, so this is the card we have. Um, I'm going to have to give Jody Garcia a self-promo, and I'll show you why. So we have to rush our current champions, but that's for special promotion, which is honestly the most important card in the game. Um, the power cards we have available, not much. We up to the level twos for all the ones we had. We get the bonuses. We're putting Jimmy and Jay versus both of the Giants. Extreme rules at top, tables at the bottom. And then this is him versus Red Flame, R Truth versus Red Flame with John Morrison jumping in, and a couple call outs for our champions. Let's see what we get. Okay, match, no rivalry still, no gain. So that's going to mess us up a little bit because it's better than the opener. This is going to be a really bad match, but that's fine. We're not getting our rivalries to spark, though, which means our first pay-per-view is going to be a little rough. But that one's good. So we only got 70, but we did get our special promotion card. We're probably going to use it on the first pay-per-view to get a bunch early. Let's see what messages we got. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the other thing you want to do is start building out your roster with people you can kind of cycle in and out. I like to get the permanent guys. We'll take Red Monsoon for sure. Um, Rey Mysterio would actually be really good here, but I don't think we can afford him. Swerve is a three in speaking. Um, Thatcher is a four, I believe. Yeah, so we're going to take Thatcher. Cool. And we're going to put them in mid-card rivalries. Like so. The run-in from Red Flame. And so these... We need to give them a week off. Make this a title match. And I know I'm being very inconsistent with what I'm showing and what I'm not showing. We're going to try this one more time. We're going to have Carmella call out Becky Lynch. And so here's the other thing that is key. You got to have popular stars pulling your charities. And take the biggest stadium you can. Uh, yeah, we don't have any stadium. We would love to get the get the tables, but we don't have the money right now. We'll take the veto star. But yeah, so we've already got our... Got our setups for our tag teams in the men's at least. Right? There we go. That rivalry finally takes off. This should do something for somebody. Nope. Nothing.
mediocre, but that's fine. We just need to have it there to boost our attendance later. And Big E beats MVP. For a level one rivalry. That, again, we should be at like level twos and level threes right now. We're a little bit behind, but we'll be okay. We get 73,000. Yeah. And what do we get next? Sonya Deville talking shit. Jay Uso is tired. Big E wants to team up with Omos. Or with uh, Timothy. Sounds good. Omos wants to fight not Jimmy Uso. Next. That's a little tough because it's four. Um, and we have to have a TLC match. All right, so this is what we got going into week four. They'll get to a level four rivalry. This will get to level two. Hopefully, this will proc something with Timothy Thatcher. Um, this will get to level three, hopefully. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully, we can get Jey Uso in a rivalry. We didn't unlock the third of these. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go. We got a TLC match for the pre-match Physio, which we're probably going to use on Omos, who didn't want to fight. J or Jimmy Uso. And so yeah, we're pretty solid right now. They do not like Carmella and Becky Lynch enough for me. Alright. Nice. mediocre but it grows it's level three gets them both exposure we get our charity going there we go we got somebody in our rivalry jay uso is just unfuckwittable and that one got better nice Only got 64. So part of the issue is that you do slowly go down with what you can add on to your fans as the game goes on. Becky Lynch wants the main event at WrestleMania Backlash. So the other thing we have to consider is we don't have a lot of money now. He wants a run-in this week for free advertisement. We might. So any extra fancy match is going to... Did we fulfill Omos's promise? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't think we have any other... And we'll go ahead and let that one end. Still going to be normal. Going to call off, call out Omos. We're going to give Omos a break. Sure, we can call out Red Flame. All right. Do we have anybody good available for charity? Not really. So we're going to have Keith Lee do it. All right, so this is what we got. Let's see if we have enough money to do all the things. It's going to be close, but we got it. All right, and we're going to use special promotion. And I think we're going to use our health spa on Omos. Okay, and there we go. This is what we need for our first pay-per-view. Maybe could have used Birth of Legends. But we didn't need it quite yet. MVP wins the title. Great match. Good. This should resolve this rivalry. Which allows him to fight other people. Great match. Fantastic. That's fine.
And that should be a good match too. Great match. We take it. Keith Lee gets us some more fans. Becky Lynch wanted to main event. And they give us an amazing. We take that. And we had a special promotion. So we should still get a lot of fans. 201. Yeah. Like I said, special promotion is the most important one in the game. He wants to fight our truth again. Whatever. Our truth wants the main event. We can do that too. Most popular male, heel, and villain fight each other. That would be MVP and our truth. So. It's a tough one. So the first thing is Biggie wants to team with Timothy Thatcher. We're going to get that out the way first. And we have a little money now, which is good. I'm trying to think who we should match them up with. So there we go. Peyton Royce showed up. We're going to buy Peyton Royce. I'm going to go ahead and buy a uh, Clint McDougal. Going to buy Ignition. And we can now get our women's tag team division started. More importantly, we're going to probably sign a legend now. Um, I lied. We're going to come back. I'd like Bret Hart at a 10-week... I'd like a specialist at a 10 week, basically. So we'll come back to this. Okay, so we wound up not setting up the women's tag team quite yet because those two want to work together. R Truth wants the main event. Uh, Morrison wants to fight R Truth. And we got to make sure this rivalry keeps going. So let's see if we can afford to unlock the next one. We can. So we bought, we didn't buy any of those, and we get a pre-match physio, which was the other thing we wanted to match up our truth with MVP. So here we go. So that gives us a classic, which is great. We get a new rivalry. We love that. We get 5,000 more fans. This is going to be terrible, but I'm okay with it. Charlotte Flair is super over. And that actually turned into a great match. I didn't think it would be. It's probably because we made it a TLC. So now we got some more rivalries to play with. We gain 59. So yeah, we are already at a uh, 1 mil 5. The only issue is we're going to start having people come up with resigns. He's happy. He's happy. All right. So we're going to go ahead and do that. What does Trips want? Schedule a run in on our most popular champion. So this is the time to go ahead and set up the tag division. Peyton Royce versus Becky Lynch and Ignition for that. And then Nia Jax is going to run in on Charlotte Flair. Book that as an Extreme Rules. And there we go. Hopefully we have some tag champions that are not Charlotte Flair. That'll make life great. Go ahead and book that one. As a tables match. They're both pretty popular. 
Timothy Thatcher versus Red Monsoon. Red Flame versus Jay Uso. Did he give us a thing? Oh, he gave us a To the Moon, not a Superstar Builder. Gonna have Big E call out MVP. We're gonna get a self promo from right here. And Keith Lee is gonna call out our truth. We'll see what legends are available. Uh, only a five week. We could go to 10 week on Shawn Michaels, but I don't really know that I have someone to match him up with, but yeah. And then power cards. We'll grab a couple health spas. And we keep it moving. Oh no, I wasn't recording. Well, we got a four star in the opener. That call out works, gets him to level four. This should give me something. Level 2, but it's fine. This should also go up to like level 2, I think. Nice. Morrison only gets a 1. Nobody likes Morrison. We got new tag champions. A great match. It doesn't increase the Nia Jax-Charlotte Flair rivalry, though. We'll sim theirs. Again, we had a pretty good show. Plus 50. And another special promotion. We got two weeks to pay back. Charlotte Flair can't wait to appear. Becky Lynch wants a rest. We give her a health spa. Nice. Okay, so we are going to use our Legend Whisperer card. And we didn't use our Birth of Legends before we expanded the roster, which was a problem. But we got Macho Man for 10 weeks. Absolutely fantastic. So we got R-Truth switching. And then Macho Man is going to call him out. Beautiful. And then we got to find another call out to have. From hopefully somebody who's not, like, hurting. Peyton Norris is going to call out Becky Lynch. And we're rolling now. Going into week eight. That should be a great match. Amazing. Fantastic. That's good. Everybody likes it. That should be an okay match. Yeah, mediocre. We'll, tell, we'll hold that. We love that. This should go to level three. Yep. It goes to level two. And I think this one is already at level four, right? So we just get a classic out of it. Nice. And then we can pay that off at the pay-per-view. Oh, they put together a classic too. We got 48. Yeah, there's a lot of rubber banding that goes on in this, but that's fine. Nia Jax wants to appear. Red Monson wants to stop losing. We will have Nia Jax do something. Okay, so here's what we got for week nine. We have the tag team championships, the male tag team championships. Should be a good match. Hopefully it gets it to level three. A classic. We love it. Nia Jax appears, gets charity in front of her own crowd. Peyton Royce versus Becky Lynch. It's good. Level three. Thatcher calls out Red Monsoon. Level four. Ignition versus Carmella. It's okay. Morrison. Okay. 
Macho Man versus R Truth in a TLC match. That's almost one you want to watch. It's a great match. I bet it is. Like that's a, that's a dream match I would love to see. I'd actually just love to see them talk at each other. We got 59,000. All right. Let's see what bullshit we got. Big E, Jay Uso, Becky Lynch will not be showing up. Jody Garcia. Moving on. Peyton Royce. Staying. Morrison wants to fight. Timothy Thatcher wants a main event match. At Payback. Are you big enough for that, Timothy? I guess you are. Okay. I think we have a TLC card, right? Oh, we didn't buy one, but we can get Forged in Fire. Let's go. All right, that'll put that over. She expects to appear at the pay-per-view, so we're going to let her appear at the pay-per-view. Um, yeah, we can't do anything with those ones. John Morrison expects to fight or appear. He wants a match. God damn it, John Morrison. Huh. I'm going to do that one as a tables match. That's going to get over pretty nicely. Oh, that's right. Jimmy or Jay can't appear. That's booty cheeks. All right, I got you, Morrison. Do we have another face who's not in a tag team? No, we don't. Do not put Boncho Man in a match. You are kidding me. For advertising, I don't care about that. Not only are we going to put him in a match, our truth is going to attack him to boost that one. All right. Becky Lynch is not available. Carmella versus Ignition. Tables match. She's going to call out Becky Lynch. He's going to call out... Put it here, and he's going to call out uh, Jimmy. And we have nobody else who can do a promo. So we're going to make them charity horses. I don't actually know that this is going to go well. But it can't. I don't think it can backfire. So we're going to use our forge and fire. And our special promo. And our to the moon. We're going to boost whoever's the lowest that's actually fighting and sticking around. To the moon. Um, honestly, we should use it on ignition. And we're going to use our birth of legends. We should have waited till what's her face was off the books, but whatever. We're going to use like everything right now. Get this cost as low as possible. But I think we got it. We're unlocking anything we're actually going to wind up using. We can't use that. And that's our card. A classic. We'd love to see it. Excellent. Get set to level four. This should resolve. Great match. Love it. Hey, we let, we take that. That should actually still be a good match. Yep, we're rolling. 
and we have a, a, a thing for my guy for once. That rivalry goes to level three. Yep, way to go get us stuff, Jody Garcia. And this is the main event. Yeah, buddy. That's how you wanted to go. I don't care what you did. You didn't have a better card than me. Yeah. 238,000. One thousand one mil nine. We're good. We're good to go. We're good on a good pace. Okay, so this is the car we put together for week eleven. Then with uh, Morrison running in on McDougal, Charlotte Flair trying to become double champ. We actually need to switch that over to Extreme Rules. Actually, this needs to be Extreme Rules, and this needs to be Tables, so we don't lose Charlotte. And some self promos. We're good to go. We don't have enough for Thunderdome, but we'll be all right. And let's see what we get. Omos and Keith Lee retain. Amazing match. Red Flame wins. A great match. We love to see it. Becky Lynch, or Charlotte Flair, sorry, not Becky Lynch. Charlotte Flair becomes double champ. Holy cow. Don't care what they do. They didn't put on a better card than we did. Keep Timothy Thatcher, of course. Carmella wants a title shot. We're not helping out Red Monsoon, though. We're lagging a little bit, but we're going to use the that on that. Okay, he doesn't have a rival at all. That's crazy. How healthy are the Usos? Healthy enough. And we got three weeks till a pay-per-view. At that pay-per-view, it's going to be the Usos versus... I don't have a name for... Glorious Giants or whatever. <laughs> I don't have a name for them. So that's a level four rivalry. So we can go ahead and do that. We can get that going. Uh, we're going to have Thatcher fight him with a run in from Randy Savage. Can Morrison call out Thatcher? I don't remember. I don't think they just had a, a beef. Lagging pretty hard now. I am playing this from the cloud because uh, if I don't, it uh, it hurts my recordings really bad. Nope, we're not doing that. Let's go ahead and get a charity. Good to go. We that's right, we bought a health spa. Let's go ahead and use that on Omas just to make sure we don't lose the big man. Big men are injury prone. I know that from how much I love NBA. Alright, let's see what we get.
Timothy Thatcher finally has a rivalry. Only took three tries. Wow, they had a great match. Randy Savage and R Truth. Uso should take that. Yep. And it's a classic. We love to see it. And that's why you have to build up your tag team division. Because you can like get basically you can get four people over as opposed to just two. That's super important. Okay, this is a chance we can't pass up. We can take Bianca Belair or Elias, but we're gonna take Bianca. permanently and we have the budget for it so now we're going to be able to disarm becky lynch a little bit and give her a rivalry at the same time beautiful okay so this is the card we're going with that first match should be huge the last match should be huge That's what we like. Oh no, we put John Morrison in the rivalry with McDougal. That wasn't the intent. That's a classic. We'd love to see it. We have to make sure Becky Lynch is available. Or not Becky Lynch. I keep saying Becky Lynch when I mean Charlotte Flair. We have to make sure Charlotte Flair is available for the uh, pay-per-view, though. But we are rolling right now. We are very much on, on track. Our truth wants to make an appearance. McDougal wants to stop losing. My guy... You're literally enhancement talent. You're here to lose. Always grab the special promo. We'll see how much money we have. We'll come back for the Forged in Fire. 